that's about all we have time for tonight. I must say I've enjoyed the programme entirely and I hope you have and hope the studio audience have. But we can't leave, but thank you all my guests, and we can't leave without a piece of music. If you remember the Radetzky March by Strauss, maybe perhaps you'd like to clap your hands along with this, conducted by John Millen, please welcome the Killy Coogan Accordion Orchestra. Thank you. Good night and see you on the radio. dominate their particular field of music in Britain and indeed all around Ireland. It's a type of music that the Kelly family we had on early would be very familiar with because Germany is the home of accordion music and even there they've heard of these musicians from round about the Cully Backy area and round that sort of countryside in Port Glenone. With the theme from the Thornbirds would you please welcome the fabulous sound of the Kelly Coogan Accordion Orchestra.
to see you again. Good to see you again. Very much. Now, I'm wondering people at home are saying Kelly Coogan. Let me see this. Oh, can you see all the band here? How many people come from Kelly Coogan? Hand up. Look. <laughs> Look, Hannon's the only one. Why are you called the Kelly Coogan Accordion well, Orchestra? It's, it's, There's only one it, of you. It's really a, 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 a townland. There's no town of Kelly Coogan as yeah. such. It's a townland. But they mostly come from County Antrim. We have one or two from Coleraine, and I'm a County Down man. You're so County I'm a foreigner. Down, you're, you're, you shouldn't be in there. How many members have you got? 22. And how long, is, how long have you been going? Because it's a great tradition. 1936. Dear goodness. That's when we started. And what sort but of... We've just been in a accordion orchestra for four years now. There are accordion bands, and then we're at the very top, at the pinnacle of, of accordion world in the United Kingdom. And you certainly hit the, the pinnacle in Europe in 1988 yes. when you won the European yes. title. Yes. But what titles do you hold at the moment? We hold the, the, the Irish, the, the Northern Ireland, and both the United Kingdom championships. It's a fabulous Everything sound. Everything there is to do. Is, is there much music for the accordion? Oh, well, there's a lot of music for yeah. the accordion, certainly. We have right. a, lot of, well, a lot of soloists, actually, uh, I'm in, going in to the go ensemble. Well, I noticed a fellow over here. Richard up there. Who's it? This is Richard. Richard's accordion. Richard's got the biggest one in the entire orchestra. How, how much did that cost you? Uh, this particular instrument is £10,000. Why, why is it worth £10,000? Uh, the thing that makes them uh, unique, in a sense, is, is really the tuning of the instrument. Uh, it varies quite a lot from instrument, instrument to instrument. This particular one uh, is five voice, which is quite unique. And it's also uh, got what's called a free bass converter system. All right, we'll uh, leave it there. That. Don't carry on now. Well. And how, how long have you been playing that? Uh, this box I've had for about three years, I think. Yeah. Yours wasn't cost ten grand, by eh? No, no. Which was yours? No, cheapy. About two. <laughs> two thousand? Yeah. How long have you been playing that? Uh, a couple of three years. And one day will you grow up and buy a ten thousand pounds one? <laughs> <laughs> I've won the pills. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the young... Who's the youngest member in the entire... But What's the Stand up, my young lady. What age are you? Twelve. Twelve. And how long have you been playing this? Since I was six. Since you were six? And how many nights practice do you go to? Um, how many nights would you be allowed to go out? About three. About three. Yeah. This young lady, am I right, Mr Conductor, this young lady won the under-13 Great British title. There you are, under-13 in the whole of Great Britain. Congratulations. Do you love just playing? Isn't it great? Isn't it great? Well done, well done. There you have it. Keep your hands together for the Killy Coogan Accordion Orchestra. Indeed. Now, the last time you and I met was at the World Championship of Pipe Bands in Scotland, and there were no fewer than 40 bands from Northern Ireland. I was really amazed. What's the history of them here? Well, I, and I think it's inherent. Uh, originally, as you know, this is an Ulster Scottish community, and I think when the plantation folk came, I think they brought all their chattels with them, including the pipes. So I think it, it has been handed down. But it never, they've never been so popular as they are today. Now, you have really a fantastic track record of competition winning, haven't you, Hugh? Indeed, yes. Uh, why, why is that? What's, what's a huckle got? Well, we cannot uh, blame the Scottish for bringing their card in. I'm afraid we have to go much further and blame the Italians. Right. That's where the old squeeze box came from originally. But, as Thomas said, Northern Ireland has got this tremendous thing about bands and um, Killy Coogan, uh, just a small country area, not even a village. Um, an accordion band was started in 1937, made their first appearance on Easter Monday, 1937, and uh, from very humble beginnings, got into the contest scene in the late 70s and was successful in the lower grades, continued to work very hard and moved up. But if you ask me one thing to say, what, what would be the main ingredient for your success, I would say it would be hard work in the band room, but one of the main things would be involving professional people when it comes to conducting, for he was able to take the work that the ordinary bandmaster would have done, as it were, and then build on it and take it on from there to a much higher level.
music wonderfully always brings people together. Is that true for the pipe bands and the accordions? Oh, yes. We, we've had tremendous experiences. We've been uh, all around Europe with the accordion orchestra playing in Italy, in Germany. Um, we've had some tremendous... And throughout England, we have played uh, throughout... Uh, south of England doing, for example, in Bournemouth, we did a series of concerts, 13 concerts in the space of one week.